I be talking about this type of shit right here a lot. And when I seen the title, I haven't heard the video, but I seen the title. The title says they have to separate the poor from the rich so that the poor work for the rich called capitalism. When I seen that title, I talk about that all day, every day. Let's hear what my G Papa Duck got to say. Man, after this, I got some more heavy shit for y'all, but let's see what he got to say right quick on this. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Papa Duck. I got a simple video. If you can grasp this, this will answer all your questions moving forward. Simple, right? Simple. I had a conversation with somebody, and a lot of these people that are so uh, patriotic, you know, they so blind. They think America is the best country in the world. Anyway, let me get y'all to understand something. In order for the things that happens today to happen, they had to create a capitalistic um, environment. You got upper class, middle class, lower class, right? Lower class is going to work for everybody above them. Why? Because if I had the same resources as you had, why would I work for you? Thanks. I got a million dollars, you got a million dollars. You got a billion dollars, I got a billion dollars. They had to separate us. This is why you don't give food to the poor. Do y'all know that? Do y'all know some stores, you can actually get fired and fined if they catch you giving food away to homeless people? The stuff he's saying right there, we, and we just getting started. We're 56 minutes, 56 seconds in this video. And he already said some, some killer shit. And some places, they cannot feed the poor because they want you to stay in the condition you're in. They don't want you to get help. Do y'all know, y'all know this in school, they teach us to not help each other. You never heard of that? Oh, uh, yeah. Where I'm from, I live in Florida. Um, especially well, when I was living in Mississippi, homeless people can't get the free food that you're going to throw away. And if they catch your motherfucking ass doing it, they can hit you with a, yeah, they can hit you with a fine or and fire you. And it'll be within their rights. You can't sue them. Because they got it in the documents. So, I was about to say something I forgot, but I'm a, it'll come back to me. In classes, remember, together we stand, divided we fall. This is so true. Bingo, when he said that together we stand, it came to me. Do y'all know in school they teach us to be individuals? They don't teach us to help each other. So, let's say, for an example, you know, everybody, we get graded as individuals. We don't get graded for working together. Y'all notice there is no grade system for working as a unit. The grade system come as an individual, which what does that make us do as we keep going farther and farther through the school system and then leaving the school system? We're not meant to help strangers. What we see, if you see a stranger, keep going. The world we live in teaches us to be separated. So those that actually choose to work into groups and units, those of us that choose to work as one, we are doing the opposite of what the game has set up. Y'all understand that? We're doing the opposite of what the structure of America has set up. We're supposed to be individuals and in our race, race for my Twitch community. Look at the 2K community. People don't want to work together for shit. Yet they wonder how the Fortnite community, the Call of Duty community, how these guys all get in the money. Wow. Ooh, I'm about to say it. I got to say it. Let's look at the non-black people. Look at how they work together when it comes to finance, when it comes to business. Yes. They might not work together on a lot of shit, but when you start talking about business, finance, stuff like that, you see they work together. But look at how we maneuver. We don't maneuver as one. I mean, we don't maneuver as, as a unit. We move as individuals. We would never tell the next person how to get ahead because why? We came from poverty. We don't want you getting our spot. Hell no. What you mean? 
Can you help me get it? Can I help you get your own here? Man, wow, come on, y'all. Don't act like you ain't never tried to get on with one of your homies or your cousins or your uncle or your brother or your mama, and they told you, well, you might need to go try to get a job over there. What the fuck you talking about? You don't own this place? You can't help me get on? I'm your fucking family. <laughs> you sure you want to work here? You don't want to work over there? They got nice stuff over there. When you try to get on with some of your family members, they making good money. You tell them, man, where I'm from, a lot of people started off going to the boat. You be like, man, hey, man, she help me get on on the boat, dog. Get me on on the boat. Them niggas making money on the boat. You know, everybody from where I'm from, that the main thing they want to do is go to that boat. The boat making money, dog. Man, you ain't got your Twitch card and that like that. Well, how do I get my Twitch card? Man, I don't remember. It been so long ago. These niggas don't want to tell you how to get on that fucking boat, dog. These niggas making good money every two weeks. But what they ain't trying to do is tell your motherfucking ass how to get out there with them. Because why? They want to come back to the hood and show you all they nice shit. They don't want you to be having nice shit with them. No, I want to come back and show you all the good shit I got. Man, it's so cold how the, how the game is. And this is why divide and conquer is a cancer. Divide and okay. conquer. Understand, they had to create an environment to, to where lower class people will be taxed. Why do lower class poor people get taxed the most? Mm. And I told y'all, you're paying for health care. The health care. Come on, man. Right? Through, through your taxes and all this. But they only promote fast food restaurants. They're making money off the fast food. They're making money off poor people with taxes. It's a continuous cycle. It is not going to stop. You pay for something. This Papa Duck. Papa Duck on YouTube. Uh, you can check him out. That's his name right there. We pay for something that we know we're going to be ill from. And they know we're going to be ill. Why do they know we're going to be ill? Because that's all we have to eat. We don't have no other choice but to eat the poor food. So, of course, who need health care more than anybody? Okay. Okay. If it, it, it making sense to you, who need health care more than anybody in the world? It would be the people that can't get to the the high ends of the food, right? The people that ain't got no other choice but to eat McDonald's, Sonics, and, and Wendy's. He said the poor food be good. <laughs> See, you. that comment right there shows me that you ain't here to learn, big dog. And this is why I say in the beginning of this video, if you understand what I'm about to tell you, you will understand this world is not going to change as long as the same people that are leading, leading, as long as they're leading, ain't nothing going to change. And I'm telling you why. If you got a trillion dollars, you still need people to lay carpet. You still need people to make cars. You still need laborers. Uh -huh. Remember, money is fake. Fiat money is fake. It is not backed by gold. It is only backed by belief. Mm. People will kill you for that paper, thinking that it's worth something. And this is what happens when you brainwash a, 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 a nation of people, not just in America. And this is why I tell y'all, this is how you know they all together. China do the same thing to their people. Russia do the same thing to their people. There's no country... Right, that's ran with equality, and we the people. It's so it's millions of us, and it's only a few of them. But they figured out a way to brainwash us. Because I tell y'all, school is the biggest, biggest mistake that we make. This is the twelve step brainwash camp, right? This is and on top of that, y'all know they trying to uh, extend school. They trying to extend. The, the, the time that we're in school. Have y'all heard about that? They talking about, they trying to go beyond the 12th grade. They want motherfuckers to stay in school when in reality, the half of the people that run shit ain't even go to fucking second grade. 
<laughs> well, let me not say second grade. Motherfucker left school in the seventh and eighth grade. Half of the people that are running these companies didn't even graduate. Don't have a GED or none of that. They going in, they going back to get their shit when they already highly successful and running shit. It don't take. He said, I, I mean, I feel you. If you if you know, like I said, you know, you can you can you're free to think how you want to think, you know. But just make sure you you don't think on it on a surface level. When he say he disagree with school, understand what he's talking about. On the surface, it sounds fucked up. But he's saying he disagree with the system. Why? Because his kid go to school. School is a process that we have to use for our own agenda. Do you understand that people learn English for a specific agenda? Just like one would go learn another language? School is not for us. But I ain't gonna go into that if you don't understand that. But there's an agenda that we can use it for. You feel me? We have to figure that out early. And it's hard for kids to understand that. So as a parent, me, my daughter go to school, but I also make sure my daughter understand that what she is learning is so that she can fit into the game. Do you understand that you, most of y'all watch me from 2K. Can you take your my player and to play now? It don't work like that. You can't do it. But what can you take? You can take the VC. You can take the VC and go to play now. Uh, my team. Uh, my GM. Um, but you can't take your actual player everywhere. But the VC is like the paperwork. I don't know. I hope that makes sense. VC is like the paperwork to what school is. It's, you ain't going to be able to use it unless you ain't going to be able to use this, this paper. This paper is going to help you get through certain doors. Without getting through these doors, the opportunities for you going to be limited. Are you understanding? So you might have a player that you can go play with at 65, but if you put some Oh, maybe. I know some of y'all probably be like, Nick, what the fuck you talking about? For my 2K players, y'all know what I'm talking about. VC is like that certificate for when you graduate. They want you to be filled with how they want you to think. Okay. Let's get back to it, because that might be. This is where you go to be conditioned. It has nothing to do with it. Think about it. If, if the shit that they're teaching us in school was if it worked, we wouldn't be in the situation we're in today. This goes for religion. This goes for schooling. This goes for uh, 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 food. Everything around us is put in place for a specific reason. It has nothing to do with making your life better at all. You could but you could forget about that. This is why they had to create a capitalistic environment. I told y'all, capitalism means to capitalize. And this is why people are going to go to work for the check. Okay? No one is saying nothing. They taught us from a from pre-K. Because I tell y'all, scientifically, they, they psychologically come up with these curriculums that puts us in this induced spell throughout our whole life. <laughs> We want to go to the next grade. Oh, we want to do good. Go to the first grade, second grade, third grade. You don't want to get left behind because you don't want to be picked. And you thinking you moving up the ladder, but you're not. All you're doing is being indoctrinated and you're being put in a position to be controlled later on in your life. And your mama ain't got nothing to do with this. Your dad ain't got nothing to do with this. Because you got to understand, they've been brainwashed too. When you control what people think, you control people. That's why I tell y'all, it is very powerful what they do. And social media doesn't make it no better. The way you think of a beautiful, a beautiful woman today, where did that come from? 
if a woman thinks she got to have a big ass and big titties to be loved or to be to get attention or where did that come from? I tell y'all, we in a situation where we don't even control our own our own thoughts. That's facts. That's powerful. Who is putting these things in front of you to make you think the way you think? I just trends. Remember, we talked about trends earlier. Who is controlling trends? Who has the power to make a trend a trend? The ice box trend, the 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 wet trend, and all that stuff. Who has the power to do that? I told you, if they control the way you think, they control you. So they had to create a capitalistic environment. Mm -hmm. People think because they go to college, and this is no disrespect at all, but you're under a spell. We do not set the trend. <laughs> that was the song, big dog. <laughs> you don't set the trend. Do you own any? Do you own Google? Do you own YouTube? Do you own social media? You don't set no trend. You don't own none of that. I don't own none of that. They set the trend. That's why you see nasty, violent shit the way that you see it. Go look at China. They trend is a whole different platform. They don't see what we see. Why they trend is different? We don't set the trend, big dog. I told y'all the spell is very... People think, oh, you got to be Facts, put on the spell through voodoo and all this other shit. If a, if, a, if a security guard or a police officer can run up on a group of people that just ran into this store, a Gucci store, and, and they grabbed all these clothes, you got the officer running behind them, and what if one of them turn around and boom to the, you know what I'm saying? And now the officer that lost his life trying to protect some clothes that ain't worth shit from a family that's sitting in Italy in front of their fireplace eating cheese and crackers and the shit got insurance on it anyway, but you're under the spell. You're mm. under a spell that you need to catch them. You see how powerful that is? These people sit up high and look low. This is why a lot of the times they not, you know, when you try to free people or when you're trying to get people to rebel, right? Be the resistance. They don't like that because you're interfering with their agendas. That's facts. Once people understand when you tripping over color, like I say, if you jump in the elevator and you're on an elevator with a white man or a white man on the elevator with a black man, the way you feel, even though that person never did nothing to you, never met you a day in their life, but the way you may feel about that person is controlled by what you have saw and what you've been seeing your whole life. That's why I say you don't even control your own thoughts. This person never did nothing to you. This little few seconds you ride in the elevator, you may be feeling uncomfortable. You may be like, damn, I don't want... Who is controlling those thoughts? Not you, because you never you never experienced that person for yourself and determine what this person is or not. The same person can save your life. And that's the same thing when it comes to religion. Some people refuse to deal with people just because they don't believe in the religion that they really believe in. How crazy is that? For you to look at me and say, I am the devil, all because I say, I don't believe what you believe in, but I do believe in God. Oh, hell no. Something wrong with you, dog. Something wrong with you. Hell no. I told y'all, when I first started my organization called Black Image Reversal, the first, the first um, event I held, a lot of people had plans to come to my event, even though it still did good. But more people was willing to come. But guess what? As we talking, they're loving my idea. My, my first event I had was Birth of a Well. Having kids of all different races, I had put on a bowling event. It was my first ever event. Like I said, a lot of y'all, you know, you have no idea. I really believe in the things I talk about. I really put my money in it. I just don't get on the internet and say I want to help. I really do things in real life. My first event, so many people was loving what I was saying. Then guess what, y'all? 
Can y'all think of what, what they asked me that shift the whole conversation? They're loving me. They're loving my ideal. And it's not about me, but they're loving the person I am. Man, you young and you doing this? And, and who's sponsoring this? Who helping you? I'm paying for all of it. All, I'm paying for everything. You know, this is my this is my way of giving back and my way of uh, 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 bursting on the scene. Black image reversal. I want to show them that I'm not just the, the black man that they try to portray me to be on TV. Uh, I'm not a father that, that don't want to raise his kid. I'm not a man that need to sag his pants and show the world my ass. Uh, I'm going to be, I'm a black man with responsibility and making a difference. You know, um, that's black image reversal. I want it to be the opposite. Black image reversal. I want to be the opposite of what the media try to throw on a black person. Everything going good. They loving my ideals for how kids, if we can get kids to play with each other and be around each other as their kids, they'll grow up and say, why would I want to bully this person? It's been my homie for nine years, 10 years. I've been knowing this person since second grade. We have a lot of kids that go to school. That's the only time they get to see and know the kids that they're going to school with. How the fuck is that possible? We all live in the same environment, yet these kids only know each other when they go to school. But if we can get these kids to learn about one another outside of school, then it'll be, a, it'll be easier for kids to not want to hurt each other. That's the thing that I started. The parents was loving my idea. It's called Black Image Reversal, y'all. My first ever event that I put on, I had I held, I hosted three events, but my first one, do you know that they was enjoying what I was saying? They was like, ma'am, oh my kids gonna love it. I had put together everything. All they had to do was pay for food. I had all the lanes booked. I did bowling for that one, the first event. I had everything. I paid for everybody to bowl and we'll do this. It was a lot of money. Some thousands of dollars. I had rented out the whole bowling alley. All they had to do was pay for food. Okay. You know, that was easy. I, I mean, I paid for everything, Gus. You know, I'm doing it by myself. I, I, I you know, so I was like, okay, I give them. Because, see, the reason I had them to pay for food is the same reason when you're dealing with a girl, this is real game. You make them do things so that they can invest into you. If they invest into you, this is real pimping right here. If they invest into you, Therefore, they won't, They feel like they can't just fuck around because they invested money, time, or something like this. This is why, like, if you live in a nice distance, you you try to get a girl to drive to you, see if you can get her to invest in you, and um, you know, she might stick around longer. So this how I was with the parents. So I was like, instead of instead of having the parents get everything for free, I'm gonna have them to pay for the food. So that they invest into their kids future. And I know they serious. If they not willing to invest. Then I know that they just looking for a free date for their kids. But this is more than a free date. I'm saying we start here and we go farther. When these people got it. And still we're in the conversation y'all. They said. So what church do you go to? You sound like a, a nice young man and you got all this stuff going on and you've been putting on this amazing event. What church you go to? I knew it. Everyone that asked me that question, I said to myself, don't do it. Don't be honest. Don't do it. You can fuck it up. You got a nice opportunity for kids to come and meet other kids and now they grow and they don't have to go to school and talk about who is this fucking random ass kid. Look at what he got on. Kids will be like, I know them. That's Jake. Or that's so and so. I met him at the bowling alley. Bowling alley. Or just anything. Go to the park. But we have to get these kids to start working with each other at a young age. We can't just have these kids going to school and talking about, um, yeah, we hope they play together. They ain't gonna work like that. So they asked me this question, what church you go to? What church you belong to? I knew it was starting. Not the kids. Not the kids, big dog. We as grown-ups, yeah, I know you, six dot. Yeah, but not kids. 
Kids don't know each other. That's why they're doing what they're doing to each other in school. You understand what I'm saying? It's easy for kids to pick on each other and, and, and hurt each other when they don't know each other. All right? Not saying they won't hurt each other by knowing each other, but it's, it'll be easier if they did have some form of connection. But I said, man, don't be honest. But I went on to be honest. I said, ma'am, um, I don't belong to a church. I said, um, I don't really believe in the church. I believe in action. And uh, most churches, they have no actions. They just talk about the same Bible every Sunday. I said, I believe in God. Um, and, I, and, and I'm a, I'm a child of God. Um, but I believe in, you know, I just believe different than the church. Now, this lady and many other people, they be so happy. They love my idea. But when I start saying that shit right there, oh, oh man, oh my. Woo! Oh my, I can't believe you just said that. Are you serious? Bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck are you talking about? I just told you all this shit I had set up for where our kids can build. And, and, I, and I showed you all these amazing ideas. But all because I don't believe in sitting down praying every night. I believe in going and putting in some action and praying. You can't fuck with me no more. These goddamn people flipped on me. Bro, I had, it was a schedule of maybe 300 people that sort of showed up. When those people start asking me no questions about God and church, man, those people, man, you gonna get your ass around here? Bitch, how the fuck you just gonna flip on me because I don't goddamn go to church? But I'm sitting here telling you my idea, you saying how amazing my idea is, but because I don't go to church, these bitches don't even want to come. I said, man, ain't this some? She said, ooh, listen, I have flyers, y'all. Real deal flyers. Like, I was so professional. You feel me? I had flyers. The lady passed me my flyer back. She said, ooh, son. Oh, no, sir. She said, I love what you got going on, but I'm going to have to give you this back, and I'm going to have to say thank you, but no thanks. What about your kids? Did you not just hear how we can stop bullying in the school system? How we can stop some of these things? Your kid... Don't know her kid. They going to school and they harassing each other. What about that? I, I, I love your idea, but son, you got to get to a church. What the fuck? If these people tripping, I just told these people my amazing idea, but because I don't believe in the church, I'm a devil? Oh, man. This is what I mean, y'all. Some people, they don't want you to try to build and fix the community. If you don't believe in what they believe in, all that good shit you talking about with them kids, nigga, fuck them kids. Them kids will figure it out. Because you don't believe in no church. You ain't got no church home. And son, I don't know. I don't know what you're going through, but you got to get a church home. What the fuck they got to do with the shit that I'm trying to do with these kids? Man, some of the people ain't going, bro. All because you don't believe in what they believe in. The same person can see you drop your wallet and give it back to you. And this is why I say as long as you, if you can't develop your own sense of how people are or how the world is, they will give it to you. They will do it for you. And this is what I call uh, uh, identity theft. When mm. you as a culture... That's Don't fast. practice your culture, whether you Haitian, whether you Jamaican, China, well, whatever you are. If you do not practice your own culture and dig up what your culture is and exercise that with your family, that means you need a woman that aligns with that. Remember that. If you don't do these things, they if you don't go back and know what your identity is, they will give you an identity. That's basically what I'm saying. That's what I call identity theft. You got Jamaicans, and this is no disrespect to Jamaicans, but I love the way they speak that patois. That that shit is that's their culture. But when you see a Jamaican talking like a European, that's like converting a dog into a cat. 
He's not a fucking cat. He's a dog. Or he's a Jamaican. He's not a European. So when you see people dressed up in suits, not, you know, talking with a proper tongue. <laughs> Thanks, no. though. It. And it's, this goes for me, too. Because I've been, I've been born into this bullshit just like everybody. Think about this, y'all. Y'all know how we have different accents. Y'all know how I say words different, like, but you know what I'm saying? You have people out here like, man, he can't talk. Be I, because I can't say somebody else's language correctly, I can't talk. We spell words that are all the way fucked up. But they'll tell us you can't spell. Nigga, how you sound that word out? That word don't sound nothing how it's fair, nigga. But this is the world we live in. People just say, I can't talk and I can't spell because I'm spelling it how I hear it. But they'll tell me, nah, that ain't right. You ain't saying it right. That's what he's talking about. That's what he's talking about. How we would judge each other off of somebody else's language. Okay, that don't make sense to y'all. Okay, my bad. Right, that might went over your head. Else, but I'm just trying to get y'all to understand the difference. Mm. I say this all the time, and I'm going to continue to say this. Jamaicans need schools for Jamaicans. Haitians <sighs> need schools for Haitians. Mexicans need schools for Mexicans. Why? Because we need to pass down our heritage, our culture, the way we do things. We don't need to be Jamaicans being converted into Europeans. We don't need to be Haitians being converted into Europeans. We're not European. When you see somebody black speaking super proper, like, like what the fuck? But this is how you convert one thing to another. It's like it's like converting a dog into a cat. Converting a, 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 a gorilla into a hyena. He's a gorilla. So when they putting all these different cultures under one umbrella, they converting us to be a European. I'm just asking a question. I'm just asking. Who decided that the European way was the best way? So universally, why is it that we all answer to the European, European lifestyle? Holidays are European holidays. And they throw us bones here and there. The way we live our life. How is it that who decided that this race was the superior one and that we need to follow everything they, they do? I'm just asking the question. Mm. My boy said because they invented guns. Ah, mm, so that's what it is. Mm. Oh, I, okay. Mm. All this is aligned to the shit that we learn from in school from day one the food we eat, the way we dress, the way we talk, the things we see around us. And you're like, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. My dad used to say this, you know what I'm saying? My daddy Haitian. My daddy said when he used to, when he didn't want to bring my sisters over here in America, he said, Soon as they drink the American water, they're going to be Americanized. That's what he used to say. And a lot of foreign people, they understand it. Why you think these people come over here and get money and go back home? Mm. That's true. But you have to understand, every country has a dictatorship and they're all working together. They don't put people in, in, place, of, in place of power to go against the agenda. That's they will never educate you to learn what I'm telling you that goes against their agenda. Mm. They're never putting that on TV. That goes against their agenda. Okay. So as long as the people that's running the world continue to run the world. Are y'all paying attention to that? Just think about the world we live in. Think about some of the things that have happened there over the last few years. Let's talk about COVID. Anybody that spoke against COVID got canceled. They got their Twitter taken from them. They got their Instagram taken from them. They got their YouTube taken from them. Now all of a sudden... We can talk about it after that 
we went, some people, the 20% went to war against the, the people that was running this shit and had this 85% of the massive following along with them, yet now they giving people their channels back. Now you can freely speak on the fact that COVID did what it did in the vaccination. Now you don't get in trouble for it. But guess what? There are some people that got in trouble for it, like me. I got in trouble for COVID when it first happened. I got a strike on my YouTube. I couldn't post for a week for speaking on COVID. Now you can talk about it. So when he say they don't allow certain things in the algorithm that goes against their agenda, then we just not find out about how the CIA and the FBI were using social media to um, hide certain things when it comes to voting and, 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 and to shadow ban some of the politicians. Did we not just see that come out? Man, see, it's a lot of information out here. If we choose to Ignore this shit. Well, I know some people don't want to break up their happy home. You could best your motherfucking ass. Everything that's going the way it's going is going to continue. Because like I say, if anything was working, if religion was working, if education was working, if any of this shit was working, we would not be in the position we're in. A damn fool can understand that. Anybody can understand that. Mm. And you may say, well, what can we do? First of all, we need to understand. We need to come together. We are so divided. People will walk outside and won't even speak to their neighbors. Mm -hmm. I don't like people like that. People won't hold the door for you. Who taught you this stuff, bro? Somebody coming in, you can't hold the door for them? You gonna mm -hmm. slam the door in their face? Mm. It be those little things that let you know how divided we are as a people. I told y'all, America is the most individualistic country in the world. What does that mean? They teach you to be an individual. Mm, I just I told about that. Individualism and collectivism is two different ways of living. That's facts. As an individual in America, you on your own. You get and guess what? Let me ask y'all this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is the chance of you committing the crimes are higher when you feel like you're on your own versus when you feel like you got help and you can just go talk to your people? Think about that. What's the chances? If you feel like you're on your own and you feel like you're in the corner and you trapped, you're going to come out and start scratching. Ah. You're going to come out and start shooting. But when you feel like you got a brother or a sister out there, it's a much better feeling, huh? I'm struggling it right now, but I got some motherfucking loved ones that gonna look out for me. Not look out for me to take care of me, but to just help me bounce up out this hole that I, that I, that I got caught up in. I got caught up in the rat trap. I got caught up in the, in the, in the raccoon trap. So I got some homies that going to come and unlock the gate. See, it's a different feeling when you got that type of love out there versus being by yourself. Boy, ain't no telling what you'll do to come out that hole when you feel like you're by yourself. A lot of us can um, attest to that. Get your own paycheck. You take care of your own. Damn what everybody else got going on. Collectivism, we all work together. Mm. I told y'all, if individualism was the way of doing things, then why are they all together? Then I just talked about that. Okay. Everything around you from, from that's major is is awarded to a certain family that's a part of their agenda. I told you, you you, you could be white, you could be black, Mexican, whatever. You're not a part of their bloodline. Mm. Like get don't think you cause you white or cause you this color, you go no, you're not a part of their bloodline. Oh, okay. They give you the same messed up medications. They give you the same messed up foods. You're paying the same messed up wages. Why you think that it's different for you because you white or because you black or because you this or because you that? 
I told y'all we all got one common enemy. It's just a lot of people ain't ain't educated enough to. This why to be angry at your non-black relatives or your non-black coworkers, or to be angry at your black friends or your black coworkers or your non-black coworkers or your black coworkers, it's crazy. How can you get angry at somebody that live in the same condition that you live in? They just haven't figured out that they are part of the trap as well. And that's the black people and non-black people. A lot of us go to work at the same place, but yet you will have people feel like they above you. Nigga, you work at the same place I work at. How the fuck you can sit here and talk to me like that? Or try to act like you so much better than me when we at the same place. That's the trap that they have placed onto us. We willing to go to war with each other while they sleep and eat and live life a hundred times better than what we doing. But we fighting each other and all of us are making the same or doing the same. You making a hundred thousand, I'm making a hundred thousand. You making 30000 I'm making 30000 So why are we mad at each other? Nigga, the people that are really causing all this confusion, that's who we should be angry at. But instead, we take our anger out on the person that's sitting across from us or live a couple uh, blocks down. You live a couple blocks down, but guess what? We live on the same block. So why we have beef? You live a couple blocks over, why we beefing? understand that and some people are educated enough to understand they just hide behind that to be the ass that's facts that they uh, was beta. To be. it's just facts bro and it's time we stop playing and acting all finicky these people giving us all these different uh, genders you either male or female man come on bro facts but when you control what people think you control people wow Motherfucker can't be born, but two options. Boy or girl. Yeah. They out here playing with people's head. These people are using mental illness against us. All right, my bad. I mean, okay. That might be okay. All right. But I just want to drop that on y'all. I just want y'all to understand this is why nothing is going nowhere. Because these are the things that they use to keep us stagnant and keep us uneducated, to keep us ignorant. And they use these things to capitalize. Like, come on, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm, and I'm going to give you one more thing to let you know just how let me, let me be quiet. dumbfounded the world is, right? They went from natural money. Facts, TJ. Facts, TJ. That's facts. It's just God's money. We're talking resources, gold, silver, copper, real tangible things to a paper money, which was backed by gold at some point. Now it's not even backed by gold. It is backed by the belief that it's real. We're talking fiat currency. And to make that a, and to take that a step further. To injury insult, the injury insult. They went from paper fiat fake money to digital money. Now, when you go work, traveling to and from work, fight through traffic, leaving your family to go out to do in the, in the world to do whatever you do, and when you're done, you're rewarded with some numbers in a. What's good, big dog? Well, that's, the, that's the stupidest shit in the world. Right now, all we're doing is swiping a card, exchanging zeros. Who's in control of these zeros? Mm. We're talking about infinite money. And as you know, when money, when they throw so much money out there in the world, money becomes no value, lower in value. Inflation. <sighs> this is something nobody never thought about. Oh, I got a million dollars. No, nigga. You got some ones and some zeros. And we're under the influence that these ones and zeros is equivalent to buying cars. Like, we're taking fake shit 
making it like valuable to where we could buy real tangible things. We, 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 they took us from the. Ain't that what the bank do? We go spend our real money getting real debt. And they take the things that are tangible away, like the house, the car. Y'all ever thought about it? Border system stuck a dollar between the transactions. So, so now they're in our business. Now they know what you sell, what it sell for. No, we need to go back to the border system. You paint my house. I cut your grass for so many months. Back to seat so better. Work that out. We exchanging our we're exchanging sweat equity for instead of money for goods. Now we done now we done they done converted us to changing fake money. Now digital money because they fighting for digital CBDC. They fight for that central banking. Um, mm -hmm. what is it? Central banking digital currency. Why you think they fighting for that? Because it's infinite. All you got to do it, numbers are numerous. It never ends. Just add a zero. Thank God intended this. You think God intended for things to be this way. You think God intended, because they, they wrote in the Bible that um, God created government. And if you disobey government, that means you're disobeying God. Seriously. You think God wanted, uh, intended things to be this way. To, to build a, a three different levels, lower class, middle class, elite, so that people on the bottom can be controlled by the people at the top. But this world here is, it, it's, man, man messes up everything. And I hope y'all take this message in, man. I hope y'all don't be offended. And I just want y'all to understand, you can't be a, a real religious person. You can't believe in, like, God gave you common sense for Facts. a reason. Use you your brain. Don't be afraid to question things that don't make sense. You know, all this, um, turn the other cheek if somebody do something to you. Love thy enemy. Well, who is your enemy? These things are psychologically affecting us and making you think, oh, God gonna handle it. Oh, hmm. just wait on God. God gonna handle everything. Well, why you, what, they, what the, they not waiting. <laughs> why you waiting? They're not waiting. Facts. If you do not put actions behind the things you want, it will never happen. That is wishful thinking. And I told y'all, man, in the in the psych in the psychology world, if you believe I got a green leprechaun in the bathroom, to the point you worship it, to the point you 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 love it, but you never saw it. There's no evidence it ever existed. You just believe that I got a green leprechaun in the bathroom. In the psychological world, that means you have a mental illness. Now let that sizzle, sizzle in your spirit, like Country Wayne say. You better mm. start using your common sense. Mm. Okay? Don't be telling you stupid. Speaking and coming from a place of ignorance. Because common sense can tell you one plus one means two. And numbers is the universal language. Don't give a damn what language you speak. Don't care what part of the world you're in. Numbers are numbers. That's for facts. A reason. So, study numerology. Study that. How far can you go as an individual versus as two? How far? And we're not just talking financially. See, that's a that's what, like I said, most everybody thinking on a term of how much they have in the material status, how much they have financially. Nah, we're not talking about that type of stuff. We're not talking about that. But man, that low on the